everyone, welcome back to Be My Cook. In today's video, we're going to be making the ultimate Italian beef sandwich. I hope you enjoy it. Here are some of the ingredients you're going to need to make our Italian beef sandwich. I have a four pound chuck roast, pepperoncinis, garlic powder, basil, oregano, black pepper. I have a Nor beef bouillon cube and I have a half a teaspoon of all those spices right here in this little jar. I have one cup of water, one medium onion sliced, and you're gonna need some crusty rolls. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to sear our roast and then we're gonna put it in the crock pot. So now when you're using a beef chuck roast, um, make sure that you dry it off with some paper towels to get some of that liquid off of it before you put it in your frying pan. That's what I'm going to do. I've already done this and our pan is heating up and we're gonna sear this on both sides. So I'm gonna add some pepper and a little bit of salt. We don't wanna to add too much salt because the bouillon cube has plenty of salt. I just put the lid on the roast so that it will sear very well in the frying pan. Okay, we got a good sear on this roast. Okay. All the sides are done. We're just gonna set it on this plate and put our other half in. Okay, here's our crock pot. While we're waiting for our other half of the roast to sear, we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of water. I'm gonna break up my bouillon cube. We're gonna put in all the spices. We're gonna put in our sliced onion. And I drained all the liquid off of our pepperoncinis because I don't want the liquid in there. I just want the peppers. Let's use this whole jar. And now when our beef gets all seared, we're gonna add that to the pot. And since it's about four pounds, we're gonna let this go for about six hours on low. Okay, our beef is all seared. I'm gonna add it to the crock pot. If your meat is um, more than four pounds, then you're gonna need to leave it for probably eight hours. Our meat is almost done. So what I have done, I have cut our crusty rolls in half. I have some provolone cheese here that I'm gonna put on. We're gonna put it in the oven for about maybe seven minutes just to melt the cheese. And in this bowl, I have one teaspoon of horseradish, a half a cup of mayonnaise, and one half teaspoon of stone ground mustard. I'm gonna show you what our meat looks like. It has 13 minutes left and it is done. We're gonna put cheese on both halves. You can never have too much cheese, but it also helps that the bread doesn't get soggy. Now my oven just dings, so I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about seven minutes until our cheese is melted and our bread gets a little toasted. Okay, let me show you what I got here. Our bread is toasted and the cheese is melted. I have our meat that I just took a fork and shredded some of that. I have some onions and some pepperoncinis that were in with the meat. Now we're gonna build our sandwich. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some of our mayonnaise. Then we're gonna go ahead and put some beef on here. It's just easier to do it with my hands. Put on as much as you want. This is so flavorful. You're gonna love this sandwich. Now we're gonna put on a few onions and a couple of these pepperoncini peppers. Ooh, they're hot.
There we go. Now we're going to put the top on our sandwich. Now if you don't like the mayonnaise that I made, just use mustard or any other kind of mayo that you like. But this one is full of flavor and lots of it. It is everything you need for a beef sandwich. I can't wait to give this to my husband. He's been waiting all day for this sandwich. It's one of his favorites. Now let me show you how I serve it. So here is our ultimate Italian beef sandwich. I know you're going to love it. And if you'd like to see more recipes from me, hit the subscribe button, like and share, and the notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.